Davi and I were watching the uh, results last night uh, and with uh, with anticipation and delight and a little bit of disbelief. And of course, part of the enjoyment is flipping over to CNN, flipping over to MSNBC, where you can basically see people having a heart attack. Uh, now, here's Van Jones, again, trying to explain what's going on. Uh, and it's uh, more than a little amusing. Listen. Uh, when this election is over in Virginia, we will know. Have we seen the emergence of the Delta variant of Trumpism? The Delta variant of Trumpism. In other words, Yunkin, uh, same disease, but spreads a lot faster and can get a lot more places. <laughs> the Delta variant, honey. Who's what? politicizing <laughs> COVID? Okay, just but, saying, Van Jones. I was kind of with you on COVID, but got to stop politicizing it. But I mean, that aside, this oh. notion, I mean, it's almost amusing that somehow you've got Trump. He's original COVID. Yeah. And then uh, the virus has apparently come in a new guise. The guise is young. <laughs> so Jones is admitting that this is sort of all about Trump. And what he seems to be saying is that even Blue of Virginia has now repented of its support of Biden and has pivoted right to Trump. Uh, what do you make of that? Yeah, well, I mean, the way he says it, it's like it's a, almost like a virus that kind of has its own its own life. And so it's taken on a new life of its own. And it's it's like going rampant in this in, you know, Virginia. Um, I, I don't really that that was a really dumb analogy, first of all. But second of all, um, I think they're just all shocked at what happened. And um, I think that their tactics and you know how evil their tactics are. And I've witnessed this since the Obama years um, may not have worked this time around. Well, let's pause. Yeah. So you're, during the Obama years, you actually witnessed all kinds of shenanigans going oh, on yeah. because you were a bilingual yeah. um, what a vote observer. Yeah. Well, so I've, I, I've served in many capacities when it comes to voting. I've been a, uh, a voter clerk. So that means that I'm the one that takes the ID. I'm the one that puts it in the in the system, all of that, check IDs. Um, I've also been a poll watcher and I was a bilingual poll watcher uh, the second Obama election. The, the first one, I was just a poll worker, but the second one, I was an observer simply because of the fact that I saw a lot of shenanigans. Well, you saw election judges <laughs> basically telling people how to vote. I and did. they were doing it in Spanish. In Spanish, and they thought I didn't know Spanish. And hello, <laughs> not so fast, but so they, they definitely do shenanigans. I don't care what they now, say. Now, there was a moment yesterday where Fairfax County stopped counting, stopped releasing data. They, In fact, they were supposed to release by 8 p.m. And all of us were like, and I saw this all over social media, yeah. here we go again. This is going to be a redux, a replay. Tomorrow, to, uh, tomorrow morning, we'll wake up and we'll know who won kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, this is set aside that. Um, there are some tactics that they use that are perfectly legal to use, but they're very cunning. Uh, and many of them have a very Chavesque uh, take, you know, kind Chavista of Chavista sort of spin odor. And odor on them because because in the Venezuelan elections, uh, the Chavistas would go to these poor neighborhoods and pick up people by the busload and bring them to polling locations so that they could vote, obviously telling them who to vote for and promising them all sorts of goods and that kind of thing. But that was very reminiscent of the Obama years when I was poll watching, because I would see all of these buses coming in and I knew exactly who these people were going to vote for. Now, was... now, while it's illegal to give people things in exchange for their vote, there is no reason in principle, is there, that we can do, by and large, with evangelical churches, the same thing that the left does with the left-wing churches, particularly the black church. They have souls to the polls. Why can't we have souls to the polls? Well, not only do we not have it, but pastors are very, like, they don't like to actually have any kind of voting, anything at their church. When I was doing all of the, the poll watching and, and judging and all that, um, I asked many pastors if we could put tables outside in the foyer so that we could register people to vote after church. And many of them turned me down and they said no, that they couldn't do that. Now, how dumb is that? I mean, seriously, people, you know, that that could have because you know who these people are going to vote for. Right. You know, you know which way they lean. So. The Democrats do this all the time. We have to learn these tactics from them. We just have to. Now, let's talk for a moment about the implications, because I think two of the winners of what happened last night, oddly enough, 
are Joe Manchin and Christian Cinema. Why? Because in a sense, their America, their view of America has been ratified in a blue state. So all these progressives who go, oh, those guys are, they're running athwart the Democratic Party. These guys now have an argument to go back to Biden and say, listen, this nonsense about a $3.5 trillion bill, you may as well forget about that. In fact, if you push forward with that, you're endangering Democrats in swing districts across the country, in Michigan, in Colorado, in Arizona, and many other places, not to mention you're gravely endangering us. So we're not doing it. Wouldn't Biden at this point be better? I don't think he will just to fold up that tent and just try to move on with dignity. Again, I don't see him doing it. No, I don't see him doing it either, mainly because he is a bit of a puppet. And I think that the people that are pulling the strings are not about to do it. So I don't see Biden coming anywhere near the middle, like at all. Uh, but I do think that this was a referendum on not just CRT, but socialism in general. I think that Americans, hopefully, perhaps, have woken up to this woke ideology and Democrats forget about it. I mean, I think one thing we can feel good about and take some credit for, I mean, there are lots of people who deserve credit here. I think with the CRT debate, Chris Rufo, I mentioned Asra and Omani. I think part of what we've tried to do in a series of movies is expose the bigotry and racism that comes from the Democratic Party. And so in a way, when people are surprised, they look at CRT. And basically, what is CRT? You could take white supremacy, the literature of white supremacy, just cross out the word white and write the word black, and you'd have CRT. It would do it, right? So, so CRT, critical race theory, is a mirror image of white supremacy. And it's when you go, wait a minute, it's how, how is it possible that we got from here to there? It's the same party doing it. It's the exact same party doing it. And what's really what's really amazing is, you know, in your last segment, when you talked about the lieutenant governor being black it, and they don't they don't like that because that completely ruins their narrative completely. And anything that ruins their narrative is kind of embarrassing. I mean, in the old that. days, going back to Reagan, you know, you go to a conservative event or Republican event and you might see a handful of African-Americans generally, you know, virtually no Hispanics. I don't remember, particularly not on the East Coast, but that's all changed. I mean, now in the sort of MAGA Republican Party, it's very common not just to see blacks, but blacks from across the socioeconomic spectrum. So this is a fact that the left is going to have to contend with. And they have to contend with the fact that they're hemorrhaging Hispanic support in southern Texas. Right. All right. of this is very bad yeah, for them. And I don't think yeah. the concept of multiracial whiteness is going to do it. Do you? Absolutely <laughs> not. I, they're going to have to think of something else. I mean, some other racket, but they're going to come up with one. Just wait. <laughs> I'm sure of it.